It's very, very iconic. Unlike any other normal race, 10Ks, half marathons, people do really get involved in this. My name is Graham Jackson. I'm the race director for the Tour of Tameside from the Running Beef Foundation. My name is Emma Marsh and I'm chief exec at Quest Media Network Limited. I did run the original tour um, and so, you know, I was so proud to not only bring it back but to be the, the race director to, uh, to put this revival together. Um, and to see the appetite that people have got for it, it's very, very iconic. We're very proud to be putting on the event this year. We've been involved for a number of years now as a media partner. Um, so it's a great privilege to take on the running of the event as well. And um, we hope to be able to expand on previous years and make it, um, just continue to make it a bigger and better event as we go along. The Tour of Tameside ran for 20 years. It started in 1981 and ran till uh, millennium year in 2000. Uh, it was the brainchild of uh, the local Olympian, Dr. Ron Hill, MBE, um, who sadly we lost just over a year ago. Back in those days though, the format was totally different because it was actually six races in seven days. So you ran on the uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, had a break on the Wednesday, and then came back Thursday, Friday, and finished on the Saturday. That equated to a double marathon in a week over different distances and terrains throughout the week. We brought it back and revived it in 2015. Um, we tried to bring it back in that original format, but of course a lot of health and safety issues uh, come into it these days. And people have got very, very different lifestyles. So what we did was uh, in 2015, we dipped a toe in the water and did a three day event just to see what the appetite was. People loved it, and so we increased it the following year to the current format, which is four days. I enjoy running the tour because of the, the community that's there. Um, there's a lot of camaraderie between runners. Um, obviously, it's a four day event. A lot of the runners do do the complete four days, but a lot of those that don't do all four days do come out on the days they're not running and support the other runners. So it is a really lovely event. It's a big, um, it's a big achievement to get through all four days. It's hard, but um, it, it pushes you to do your training. Um, it pushes you in your sport, and it just, uh, it, it's just a big achievement to get through it. We start on the um, Thursday evening at seven fifteen. Start up at Park Bridge and Daisy Nook Country Parks for the Cross Trail 10K. Certainly not a uh, typical flat 10K, don't be fooled by that. There is the odd undulation in there. On day two, we go up to Copley and we will go up the uh, Hell on the Fell. That's a six mile fell run that takes you over Hobson Moor. On day three, we come back uh, with the shortest turnover because having run the previous evening, you're coming back on the Saturday morning for a 10 o'clock start and you've got to run a half marathon there. You run along the Londondale Trail or out, out and back towards the Woodhead Tunnel um, and you finish in Hadfield. Day four is the Dr. Ron Hyde seven mile. Starts and finishes outside Hyde Town Hall and runs straight up Market Street and goes through uh, a course that takes you around Hattersley and then finishes back outside the town hall. On the same day as well, as soon as the seven milers have gone uh, out of sight, once I've set those off, then we do my first mile. Um, to have an event like this in Tameside, um, it gives runners something to aim for. Um, it's, it's there for all the community to see, so no matter what demographic you fall into, what your history is, what your health is, it's good to see these kind of things happening in your local area. Um, it's good for local club runners. It's clear that it's not just for elite runners because we do get a lot of club runners um, coming to run. We get a lot of people doing the first half marathon, first 10K. So it just sets a good example of fitness across Tameside. Obviously, there's the link with, uh, with Ron Hill as well um, and him being from Hyde. So it just, 
it, it's, it's important to have it in Tameside so that it gives people a local event to support, whether they take part, whether they volunteer, or whether they just come along and spectate. For Quest Media Network, we like to support local events, no matter what that is, whether it's sports, amateur dramatics, local schools, local businesses. It's important that we embed ourselves in all areas of the community, particularly on the radio side of things. Um, it's important that we serve the community no matter what, what race, what religion. Uh, it, it, it's important that we show that we've got an interest in, in all areas of the community and can support people in what they want to do in the community. Having been a runner and you see the camaraderie that goes on within the community of runners anyway, and you're running against the same people day in, day out, so it's like, oh, I beat you last night, or you're going to beat me tonight, because you've got all different uh, different strengths and weaknesses. But the, uh, yeah, the, the actual community and seeing the response from the community and you see the same faces coming back, back and back, you know. Some real old timers coming back who were like 60s and 70s who ran it back in the day. So that is so iconic and that is uh, that just sums up this event. At the tour this year, I'd like to see a lot of first time runners. I'd like to see a lot of people doing their, their first half or their first 10k or whatever it is that stretches them or maybe, maybe that may, might be their first mile. I'd like to see families together at the tour taking part. Maybe mum's running it, dad's watching it, mum's doing half, dad's doing half, kids are coming along to watch, kids are getting involved in my first mile. Uh, just to see everybody having a good time and enjoying the sport, enjoying taking part in, in a health and fitness event. Taking away some good information as well, maybe. Absolutely go for it. Definitely take on the tour this year. You've got just short of six months now to get trained. Um, if you can't do the full tour, pick a race um, and aim for that. Um, but whatever you're doing, whether it be your first mile, your first 10k, your first seven miles, your first half marathon, go for it. Start the training now. Um, take all the information that you can get in terms of training plans, nutrition plans. Take it all on board and um, set yourself a target and go for it.